ഹായ് ഓൾ വെൽക്കം ടു അനദർ വീഡിയോ ഓഫ് ദ സബ്ജക്റ്റ് നെറ്റ്വർക്ക് അനാലിസിസ് ആൻഡ് സിന്തസിസ് പീറ്റർ ഓൺ എ സബ്ജക്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് യു ആർ മോഡ്യൂൾ ഫോർ ആൻഡ് ടുഡേ വി വിൽ ഡിസ്കസ് അനദർ മെത്തേഡ് ടു ടെസ്റ്റ് എ ഹാവിറ്റ്സ് ബോൾ നോമിയൽ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ റൂത്ത് ഹാവിറ്റ്സ് ക്രൈറ്റീരിയ so here in the root hawitz criterion we will construct a root array based on the root array we will determine whether the polynomial is hawitz or not okay so for constructing the root array uh, suppose this is our polynomial p of s okay and the coefficients are an an minus 1 an minus 2 up to a1 and a0 okay and uh, uh, we will construct the root array such as first we will write the highest order here that is s raised to n that is if our polynomial is s raised to 6 plus 2 s raised to 5 plus s raised to 4 plus s cube plus etc etc okay and we will start with s raised to 6 okay s raised to 6 and we will write the alternate terms that is first we will write the coefficient of s raised to 6 here that is an an is the coefficient of the highest order no, here and we will next we will write the alternate okay alternate coefficient that is if an is written here next we will take the an minus 2 and next we will take the an minus 4 an minus 6 like that okay and after that we will write the second row such so that uh, we will write the s raised to 5 that is s raised to n minus 1 we will write here okay s raised to n minus 1 that is the next below Uh, power okay so s raised to 5 right as if you are writing s raised to 8 minus 1 we will write the co- coefficient of s raised to n minus 1 first that is a n minus 1 and uh, here also we will take the alternate coefficient that is a n minus 1 next is a n minus 3 a n minus 5 like that okay so likewise uh, we will construct the root array up to s raised to 0 okay so here uh, you may be thinking only the uh, coefficients are a n n minus 1 n minus 2 are there but you can't see b n b n minus 1 like that but here there is b n and c n from where this b n and b n minus 1 come okay so here the b n means b n will be b n will be this a n minus 1 into a n minus 2 okay listen carefully a n minus 1 into a n minus 2 minus okay minus a n into a n minus 3 a n into a n minus 3 a n minus 3 all divided by a n minus 1 okay a n minus 1 so likewise you will get the b n okay and yeah, what will be b n minus 1 this b n minus 1 can be obtained by multiplying this a n minus 1 into a n minus 4 minus a n into a n minus 5 divided by a n minus 1 okay so there may be a chance of mistake here normally uh, most of the people take this a n minus 1 into a n minus 4 minus a n into a n minus 5 by a n minus 3 but don't take a n minus 3 here for all the rows okay for all the below rows take the denominator as a n minus 1 okay so here it is written here for b getting b n b n minus 1 b n minus 2 all the denominator is n minus 1 okay and for getting c n what we can do c n the same procedure that is b n into b n into a n minus 3 b n into a n minus 3 minus a n minus 1 into b n minus 1 divided by b n okay and for all other terms the denominator will be b n okay c n c n minus all other terms the denominator will be b n okay so likewise we have to construct the root array and after obtaining the last uh, coefficient that is for s raised to 0 observe the first column okay first column of the root array this is the first column okay and if all the terms are positive then our polynomial is hawitz okay if if there are sign changes okay if there are any sign changes in that then the, uh, our uh, polynomial will not be habits uh, okay so that's the uh, procedure we are following okay so we can do a problem uh, based on that okay then you will be more clear okay so this is the problem test whether p of s is habits okay so for testing 
first we will start with SRH4. Highest uh, power is SRH4. So the coefficients are 1, 6 and 8. Alternate coefficients. 1, 6 and 8. Then S cube. We will write S cube. S cube is 7. Then next one is 21. Okay. 7 and 21. That's all. Okay. No, no other times here. 7 and 21. So for S square, for getting S square, we have to multiply that. That is 7 into 6. 7 into 6 minus 1 into 21 divided by 7. So 42 minus 21 by 7. That is 21 by 7. That is 3. Okay. That is 3. So here you can see it is 3. Okay. So next for uh, obtain the next term 7 into 8 minus 1 into 0. Here no times here there. So it is 0. 7 into 8 minus 1 into 0 divided by 7. So 56 by 7, 8. Okay. And for obtaining S raised to 1, 3 into 21 minus 7 into 8 by 3. Okay. Let's write 3 into 21 minus 7 into 8 by 3. Okay. So here by solving that you will obtain it is 7 by 3. And next time is 3 into 0. Okay. 3 into 0 here no times here there so 3 into 0 minus 7 into 0 divided by 3 so it is 0 so s raised to 0 you will obtain 7 by 3 into 8 minus 3 into 0 by 7 by 3 okay so you will obtain it as 8 and after getting after completing um, just observe the first column the first column of the root array so here all are positive there is no sign change here so the polynomial given polynomial is Hurwitz and in the next one after constructing the root array, uh, you observe that that is here, the third term is minus 1, which means uh, the first two are positive, then it becomes negative. That is, here comes a sign change, that is positive become negative. Okay, And again for S ratio 1, it becomes positive. Okay, That is, again a sign change is there, that is the negative minus sign. Negative become again positive here. So, here there are two sign changes. Okay, two sign changes. Okay. So, if, if there is a single sign change, then uh, our uh, polynomial is not a Hurwitz. Okay. And the number of sign changes indicates that. The, so, here, what I am explaining here, that is here, there are two sign changes. So, it indicates that two roots are lying on the right half of S plane. That is here, S raised to 4. The, if you are finding the roots, the four roots will be there in among that four roots two will be on the right half of s plane and remaining two will be on the left half of s plane okay that's its meaning okay so here the polynomial is not Hurwitz and another method is uh, here uh, by uh, while we are writing the root array okay for this polynomial if you are writing the root array the s raised to one column becomes zero okay that is s raised to one row all the elements in the ratio 1 become 0. Okay. If all the elements become 0, we can't do further. That is, we can't uh, find the coefficient of S ratio 0. Okay. So, in that cases, in that cases, what we will do is write an auxiliary equation with the help of the coefficient of the row just above the row of zeros. So, here S ratio 1 is 0. So, we will write a auxiliary equation using the coefficient of S square. Okay. That is the row just below the S ratio 1. So, the auxiliary polynomial A of S will be equal to A of S equal to 48 S square. Okay, we are taking the this row. Okay, S square row. So, 48 S square plus 48. Okay, 48 S square plus 48. So, uh, and after uh, taking that A of S, we will uh, find the derivative of A of S. That is A, of A dash of S. So, A dash of S here is 96 S. Okay, it is 96 S. And uh, we will utilize the coefficient of this A dash of S. Here the coefficient of the uh, derivative of auxiliary polynomial is 96. So, that 96 is used as the coefficient of S raised to 1. Okay, so we will write that 96 in the uh, S raised to 1 here and we will continue the procedure until we obtain the coefficient of S raised to 0. Okay, so after ob obtaining the uh, root array, we will observe the first column. So here all the elements are positive. So the given polynomial is Hurwitz. Okay, so it is 
and another method so here the one row entire row becomes zero in that case we have to take the auxiliary polynomial with the coefficient of s square okay just the row just below the uh, uh, the uh, row of zeros okay and uh, perform the procedure okay and uh, another type of problem is determine the range of values of a so that p of s equal to s raised to 4 plus s cube plus a s square plus 2s plus 3 is how it's okay so here we will do the uh, normal procedure with uh, uh, using the coefficient a as unknown okay so the given root array is like this okay 1 a 3 1 2 a minus 2 3 like that okay and uh, after obtaining the root array uh, we know that uh, for making the polynomial how it's uh, we should the first column should be positive okay the first uh, the elements in the first column should be positive okay which means the a minus 2 value a minus 2 value must be greater than 0 and also the 2a minus 1 by a minus 2 should be also greater than 0 okay if a minus 2 is greater than 0 the value of a should be greater than 2 by rearranging this we will obtain that a should be greater than 2 and also for making the 2a minus 1 by a minus 2 greater than 0 uh, the value of a by uh, doing the arrangements okay rearrangements and all we will obtain that the value of a should be greater than 7 by 2 7 by 2 7 by 2 means 3.5 okay a should be greater than 3.5 okay so here we will take the range of values as the value of a okay for making the first column elements in the first column positive that is for making the polynomial how which okay how which the value of a should be greater than 3.5 okay that is if you are if you are taking the a greater than 2 the value of a is greater than 2 here and if you are substituting uh, the value the value of uh, around a is equal to 2.5 okay so then the s ratio 1 row s ratio 1 row become negative okay so it should not be there okay so for making that also positive we should take the value of a greater than this 7, 7 by 2 that is a greater than 7 by 2 is the range of values of a for making the polynomial is how it's okay so i hope all, all of you understand the problems well uh, so thank you thank you all